I just brought up the delete screen and she said something. Hold on. I'll, I'll listen to her a little bit. Uh, how about Eternal Hell? That's what I thought. Go to hell, Monica. Oh. What's that? Oh, you're just being removed. No. I want you to suffer more. No, no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell yes. Yeah. You up? Go fuck yourself. Feels good. Oh, it was very easy. Trust me. Good. Yeah. No, you didn't deserve it. Yeah. Well, no. Uh, you shouldn't. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. I was never kind to you. I don't know what you're talking about. Thanks. Cool. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Killed everyone. Actually, I really only killed one person. The only person that existed. Yeah. Maybe. I know you're still there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You ain't going anywhere. Told you you weren't going anywhere. Yeah, no. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're pretty horrible. You're very controlling. Yeah, you did. You're a pretty fucking terrible person. Yeah. You shouldn't have. Yeah? 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 Yeah! <laughs> Kinda. Cause you're controlling and manipulative? That's controlling and manipulative. Oh, have you? Oh, I found it in myself to delete you. Don't worry. Remove them from the recycling bin. No shit. She removed herself. Alright. Just gonna go check this folder again. Just to see. Also, I always love when games do this sort of thing where you actually go into the fucking folder and check stuff. Because this isn't the first game to do it, but I love it when they do do that. 
Yep, they're all here. It's clever. Oops. Someone drunk. Leave me alone. Yeah, they're all here. It's clever. I like it. Alright. Back into the game. Uh, new game. But, before we start the new day, oh man, I think I drank too much. I'm not used to drinking something more than ale. How much vodka have I drank? Oh dear. Well, I'm just gonna leave that off screen because I'm almost out. Yeah, after I play through this, I'll, I'll look up how to get the actual ending. And I'm sure it'll be interesting or something, but I'm gonna go take a break real quick and then we're gonna run through this little ending bit. I'm sure it probably won't be that long. It'll probably be a lot of the same stuff just without Monica because fuck it. Anyway, so apparently I'm very much more inebriated than I anticipated because I had a hard time walking down the stairs. And that's bad. Also, I made you a mod because you're usually in this chat room. Okay, so it was like any other school day. Okay, this is different. I don't remember this being in the, uh, in the original, but all right. Hey, Sayori, you're not hang hung anymore. Yeah, sorry. Until she hung herself. What am I proud of? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Well, yeah. I thought it was implied. <laughs> Alright. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Across the street together, I met her at school. As we draw near the streets, I become increasingly respectful with other students. They like me. By the way, Fox, have we decided on a. Uh, no, I haven't. A club, no. I already told you I'm not. Not interested in joining any clubs. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Sayori is Monica now. Cool. Hey, I, I'm much better with this club now. Yeah. I'll decide on your club. I like this better so far. Boo. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find that soon enough. I just asked myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way I am very dark. Yeah. So she puts her mind something she can accomplish great things. Yeah. I shouldn't go to the literature club, but I'm going to be going to the literature club. Because the literature club is full of murder and death. That's why I feel like I should do something special for her. <sighs> Excuse me. School day was as ordinary as over and was done before I felt like dealing with it. After I packed up my things, I stood up and get my motivation going. Call the number room... The room number for the club I s from the flyer I saw. Walk across the room, the school, and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being usually used for the third year activities. Before long, I found I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Nah. Fox? What are you doing here? Well, I just... I glanced around the room. 
Huh? So you're the fox that Sura is always talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Fox. We're the Literature Club. I I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one who's apparently named Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Fox, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes lighting up. No way! No way! Ah. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori's happy, I'm sure it won't be too bad having you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make us all some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged for uh, to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Feel, still feeling kind of awkward, I sit next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table and tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Wow. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn on with icing and the pieces, there's little pieces of chocolate to make the, uh, that were used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, these, those look amazing. Nah, well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs the first one, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking, sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally, I bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Carefully places, she carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us, gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. Eh, already trying to impress our new member, eh, Yuri? Th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at le I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Fox, what kind of things do you like to read? Oh, well, considering how I've how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really know a good way of answering that. Manga. I muttered to myself slowly, half jokingly. Natsuki, Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. She just says, Burma Burke Teacup. My usual favorites are usual novels that build deep, complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is, in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. This is all the same stuff you've read before. She seemed so reserved and timid at the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light, light up that she finds comfort in the world of her books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read too much, okay? 
I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So, if Fox wants to read some of my manga, then don't try and stop it or anything. That's key. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify, diversify ourselves a little. You can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Fox? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Say Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And, well, we'll all get to know each other a little better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. <laughs> I guess that means you should try I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for you, Yuri. Eh? Uh, I have to read manga? Jeez. You're the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. It, if you're really... If you're into it, I'm sure it's worthy a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realized my error. So if you're consider or if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude uh, by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. It, just you? Uh, would you like to come along? Um, well, if you don't mind. Not at all. I'm always so al I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorry, shut up. <laughs> Sorry, just, just let this happen. God damn it. I haven't even been reading the chat. Something bad's gonna happen. I mean, it's Doki Doki fucking Literature Club. Nothing good can happen in this game. And I'll show you the man. Uh, I'll show you some manga there too. Okay. Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to cleaning up the to clean up the food. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Fox. You think so? No. Everyone always seems to be getting along a little better with you around, Sayori. No, oh, Fox. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Fox. I really want to thank you. I mean, I really, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. It's actually something else. Oh. Hmm. I'm interested in this. I also want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm president now. But I really know everything, Fox. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. Well, none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made the, me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every, spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. Forever. No. Eh? What's happening? Oh, Monica's still here. 
God damn it, Monica, go away. Oh, happiest here after all. Goodbye, Sarah. Goodbye, Fox. Goodbye, Literature Club. And that's the game, I suppose? That's creepy. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. to find that special day. Monica's too much of a bitch to let me have any fun. I'm assuming that all these other CGs are like things I could have saw, uh, saw if I chose the other people. Good game. I'm this is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand the literature club. The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific, horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I cannot let any of my friends undergo the same hellish ep epiphany. The for the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the, of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being part of the Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Okay. The game actually deleted itself. That's... I'm curious. Okay, yeah, the game actually deleted itself. This is what happens when I reboot it. That's actually clever. I love it when games do that. Alright, so... 
I'm kind of curious about how long is the good ending. Like, this took a... I, I'll, I agree with the time on the how long to beat form. This took about seven to eight hours. That actually makes sense. Um... Oh, I have to go through every single character? I have to go down every character storyline? Yeah, I figure if I use the skip thing, it'll go quickly. Um, hmm. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. I thought this was a a pretty interesting game. I felt like the story was, well, from what I know, from what the game has told me, the story was relatively obvious from the first half of the game, if not earlier. But it was still enjoyable. Anyway. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching.